Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2013, brought to you by Bose Professional Systems, committed to developing best-in-class products, tools, and services to create original audio experiences. All right, we are here at Infocom 2013, and uh, we would thought that we would wrap up our coverage this uh, week with our good friend Brad Weston from Renewed Vision. And uh, Pro Video Player has been out for, I think, eight years? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and Six I... Years, seven years, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. 2006, I guess, is when we made it public. Yep. Right. And, uh, you know, it's it's been solid. People love it. Tons of people use it for tons of applications. But you have... Uh, refreshed it and put out what a, a totally new pro video player yeah uh, the market or our, our customers for pro video player as you say they do love it and and uh, for the longest time it's kind of been the the little stepchild that just the little engine that could it just keeps on going and but we're spending more time with our pro video or our sort of our pro presenter product because um, there's a much larger customer base for that but uh, we really enjoy using pro video player we love seeing what customers do with it and we wanted to give them a lot of the functionality that they've asked for for a number of different years and so we started from scratch and and took all the knowledge that we took from all the different iterations of Pro presenter over the last several years and all the different customer comments and really made what we think is going to be a really cool product, not only for churches, but secular organization as well. Anybody that's looking to do video staging. Um, the great thing about displays and projectors and whatnot is everything's gotten cheaper. The power of all those things has, have, uh, have, have increased for the, for the price that you're paying. And so all these different churches that are doing, you know, architectural projection or environmental projection, um, that's great. But then what are you actually doing on the stage? Um, LED lighting has gotten less expensive, but to actually use video elements on the stage uh, is, is still a little bit tricky. It's great that Costco sells these 42-inch plasma TVs or LCD TVs for... Uh, you know, three or four hundred dollars now, what used to cost three thousand dollars, but how can you creatively use them beyond just, you know, having a couple TVs on the stage? So that's what Pro Video Player 2 is all about, is giving you a lot of the power that we had in Pro Video Player 1, taking that up a notch, and then making it really, really easy to do so. Okay. So, so what, can, what can you kind of show us as an overview of it? So, um, the big thing is that we allow you to map uh, video content to displays uh, in, in real time and, and to create what's called a pixel space. And the way that I like to think about a pixel space is a pixel space is saying, I want to fill the stage with video, but my displays themselves are actually just going to be windows into that video. So um, that what we're actually showing here, I've configured this. Um, and I'm using our old friend, the Matrox Triple Head to Go, so I actually have three video outputs out of this single iMac. Um, and I'm not beholden to using the Triple Head to Go, by the way. We now have the ability to output video to as many graphics outputs as you have in your machine. So this new cylinder Mac Pro that has six video outputs, we could output to all of them. Um, so we have the ability to output uh, to a Triple Head to Go in this, in this case. And I've taken the three outputs out of that Triple Head to Go, and I can treat them as three separate displays. So the way that I have them configured here is I've laid them out in this... Uh, they're, rotated about 45 degrees and um, I'm I've just laid them out side by side to create something that's a little more interesting than looking at just a, a 16 by 9 image and then I can target uh, my video layer to display over all of them so here I have my three displays and I've said all right I want to I want to throw a video that spans across all of them and the net result of that is is what you see behind you here van uh, so we have this aquarium video and uh, you, know, you, see, you can see the fish as it, as it leaves one screen, it goes right over the other. So very effective, very simple to do. And as I move my uh, video target around, it's moving it around across all of these screens. And if I wanted to do five screens, six screens, seven screens, as long as I have the video outputs to do it, whether it's out of one machine or multiple network machines, we can do that very, very easily. Uh, if I want to move my display around to so say, oh, you know what, to, to make up for the bezels, they, don't, they need to be a little bit closer together or a little bit further apart. Again, the display just becomes a window into my video content. So it's very easy to map content that way. A lot of other things, a lot of other features that are in there, uh, different video effects and transitions that we've never had before, have a lot of great goodies that uh, no doubt we have, will have talked about by the time any of your viewers are actually looking at this, but we're really, really excited about this product and the potential that it has um, for staging, particularly within 
the church uh, with all, again, the, all the inexpensive projectors and displays that are available today. Cool. And now when is it going to ship and how, how much is uh, it going to cost? We're hoping to ship this fall. And uh, we haven't actually figured out the pricing. Presently, Pro Video Player HD runs at $999. Um, we think we're probably going to stick about that price point. But again, by the time that somebody's actually seeing this, that might be further along the road. But we're actually coming out with new features um, on a fairly regular basis and, and announcing them on the website. Um, and uh, we invite people to take a look at that. And uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy what we're doing. So. Cool. It's very, very cool. I mean, it's it's awesome. I, I really, we we really like it. It's uh, it's really the next step, and it's really going to give you guys out there in church a uh, another really good tool to do presentation on your stage at a lower price than kind of a lot of the other things that have been out before. Yep. So make sure and check it out. And the website is renewedvision.com, and then just click on the Pro Video Player link. And uh, again, we're doing the road to Pro Video Player right now. It's coming out with two or three features every couple days, talking about the different functionality of the software. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot, Brad. Yeah.